Hello everybody. I'm here to talk about how narcissists are incapable of healing and I'm going to explain why. Now a lot of narcissists tend to have a prejudice and they claim they don't. And when they are, um, when something comes about when they're proven wrong, they'll never admit to it either. So like in my situation, this person, instead of just saying like, I will cherish the times we had together, the phone calls we had together, the laughs. Um, now she did say that, but she reverted back to my old name and told me to, and pray that I revert back to my old self in an email. Now it's different when you verbally say someone's old name, that's, that's accidental. However, if you type it out in an email or write it down, especially if it's really organized like this person had in two sentences, two sentence paragraphs each line, that's done on purpose. That's done on purpose. And it doesn't matter what excuse you use. You know, like she said she was tired. She was so tired writing that email. She said she was sorry for calling me that name, but, you know, I called her, like, her, like, the male name of her. Because, you know, if you don't respect me, I'm not going to respect you, and that's just how I roll. Trying to make me feel bad that I was calling her by a male name. But she was trying to say it was all accidental, when I know, in fact, it wasn't. That's her lying through her teeth. Now, the reason why I'm bringing this up is it really bothers because she calls herself a self-healer and the fact that there's a lot of hate being spread around and to against the transgender community right now, that this there is this narr false narrative and a bunch of lies on how transgender are after your children when that's really not true, maybe a tiny percentage, but it's only the few percentage that is being louder than the rest of us. It's the few percentage that is louder than the rest of us right now. And people on the right are making them louder. They're dr and they're dragging all of us into politics. So that once they stop talking about us, we'll stop talking about them, but they can't stop talking about us. No, they can't. And they're and they're obsessed with what's between our legs. They can't stop thinking of what's between our legs. And that's really sad and disgusting. They got a problem. Now, I am not either left or right. I'm, I'm me. I'm not, I don't belong to any party in between or around. And uh, I'm trying not to make this political, but politics, politicians, they're dragging us into it. So I, you know, I feel like I need to talk about this. And since it, since they're making it political, so... I really have no choice to, but to, you know, be involved, you know, that way. That this is political because they made it. They made it so. And I'm here to defend the trans community. That most of us are not like that. We are just regular folk trying to live our goddamn lives. But they're making it a problem. Because they have a problem insecurities with themselves including this woman and you know bad behavior is bad behavior doesn't matter if you're bipolar doesn't matter if you're a narcissist doesn't matter if you're a sociopath doesn't matter if if you're having a bad day and you do something to someone that hurts someone bad behavior is bad behavior i don't care how you sugarcoat it twist it it's still not it's still not okay not okay at all. Uh, this woman, she also got kicked off YouTube, and now I'm seeing there's a good reason for that. And the people that she's had run-ins with, any person that she's gotten personal with, including me, that she's talked, and I don't know what she's talked about with other people, but she talks about, like, uh, how she's had a run-in with someone, some way, some kind, when she got personal with them. Now I'm seeing that 
she's the problem. I've never, I've never heard her say once about being good with another person. I mean, it might be good at first, but then you real, but then something happens, and they, and then she tries to make you feel like you're the problem. But in reality, she's the problem, and you gotta wonder if all these people that she's having a problem with, one person after another, after another, after another, not one good person she can hold on to and call a friend, whether it's, you know, on the phone, online, in person, including relationships, which she's divorced, by the way, not married, and <laughs> there's another good reason for that, not a, shock, not, not a huge shocker there. She's the problem she needs to look at within herself and before you can do any kind of healing you need to be healed yourself instead of trying to call other people saying other people you're going to be alone and saying implying that you're broken which she was doing to me i'm not broken i'm speaking my mind i hold my own at the end of the day i know it's not worth it going back and forth yet she continued she continued i don't i, I mean i i didn't watch her retarded videos about, you know, the transgender issue and how being trans, I, I don't know what she's talking about. I really don't. Um, all I know is that it's going to, it, all I know, it's it's not going to benefit me. It's just going to be a bunch of mumbo jumbo. It is a bunch of mumbo jumbo. It's information, this false narrative and uh, fear porn that she's also guilty of, as so as many others right now, that's being spread. Uh, she's she's just one she's just one of the many people stirring the pot. That's what I was trying to tell her in my email. Like, how can you call yourself a healer when, really, you're a hypocrite when you're trying to heal people from people that have been bullied, people that are toxic when you're toxic and a bully yourself. Like, how can you be a healer when, you, you know, you're not you're not who you say you are when you're portraying something completely different off camera. That actually, that, that actually, if, that actually reminds me so much of Ellen, you know, as a side, as a side note, how she said, be kind to one another, when, in, when we found out she's not, be, you know, off camera, that's exactly who this person that I'm talking about is. We were going back and forth, back and forth, there was a total of 12 emails, and it was like several days later, she sent me two separate two separate emails um i didn't even read them i just deleted them she can't she couldn't let it go and when when a narcissist a narcissist never wants to be proven wrong and when they're proven wrong they get upset they go wah, wah, and they don't stop but you know this is again this isn't the reason that she's not the reason why i'm making this video the reason why i'm making this video is a lot of narcissists are like that, and a lot of people are like that right now because of this false narrative that's being spread, and it's dangerous. What it is is fear porn. That's what it is. It's fear porn. This woman that I'm talking about, too, it's not just about this woman. It's just about everything against the trans community from the right in general that's being spread, this false narrative. They're spreading fear porn, including this woman, that since I don't since I'm not up to her standards, she has to, instead of just saying, I need to go my separate ways, I'll cherish everything we've talked about on the phone, our times together, she has to go in further to say I should revert back to my old self, going back to my old name, and, you know, the gender that I was born with, which is really hurtful stuff. She didn't need to do that. She could have just said, if it was, if she, if she would have just said, I need to go my separate ways, everything would have been fine. But I did call her out on it, how she's a hypocrite, because how, I'm asking my audience here, how can you be a healer when you have a prejudice against someone for uh, being themselves? because this is my true authentic self, someone I should have always been, and I keep saying this over and over again. I felt this way ever since I was five years old. I remember wanting to wear dresses when I was like five and six, wearing, I want, I used to want to wear, I, I would have probably wore makeup if I had the opportunity, 
I tried out I tried out my mom's high heels. I wanted to wear wigs for hair. I remember that I had such a fit and I was threatened if I wasn't if I didn't have my hair forced short when I was that young and you know and older than that until I was into my late teens. Now that I'm 30, I was able to uh, deprogram myself ever since starting at 18 when I came out as gay. It took me just as long to get back to my true authentic self, someone who I should have always been from the beginning, instead of being something I'm not, because that's not who I am. But people, a narcissist, will twist it, saying like being your being yourself is really your gender and who you were born as, but who you're born as isn't necessarily who you are. Who you are is something that is only you know, only you can decide, not someone else that thinks they know you and know who you are. Even though like a narcissist, a narcissist, what they do is they backpedal, they switch back and forth, they contradict themselves all the time. So what, what, for example, like what a narcissist would do is being yourself is um, implying that you should go back to your old gender and old uh, name. But they don't say that. They said they're. But then they say they're not saying that in the next breath. But that. But then they go back. They go back and forth. You know. That, that's the. That's the really manipulative part of a, nar a narcissist. The thing about a narcissist as well is that. Now I'm not. I'm not a psychologist or anything. But from my understanding, what a narcissist is, it's halfway to a sociopath. And anybody that knows what a sociopath. Like sociopaths, they are really dangerous, and a narcissist, they can be dangerous too. Uh, especially when you when you spread false information, fear porn like that, like how the like the right and a lot of community are doing right now, so that that actually is pretty dangerous. You're hearing stories, more stories that more attacks on the transgender community more than ever in the news, it's stemming from that. Uh, whether it's, ever, you know, whether it's on purpose or not to cause violence, it's causing violence against the trans community when you're spreading false information like that out there and how we're after your children. If you don't remember, a couple decades ago, when, gay, when gayness was being more accepted, there was the same there was the same false narrative that was being spread around how they were after the children. Look at gay people now. They're not like that. They never were like that. And people don't even think that. So I do think this will pass. Now, I don't know whether this person will admit to being wrong or not, but I will tell you, a narcissist will never admit to anything that they've done wrong. And they will fight you till the end of eternity. Because when you're a healer, it's supposed to come from a place of love and light. And also, you are taught not to take on other people's emotions when you're a healer. And when someone has a prejudice, and the thing about people with a prejudice, I don't care if you say prejudice, bigoted, judgmental, they'll twist it around to say that you're judgmental, a bigot, prejudice. That's what a narcissist does. They'll, they'll twist it. Like I was saying before, they'll twist it to make it like you're the perpetrator and they're and they're the victim when really it's the other way around. And they'll never admit to even being a narcissist when really, in reality, they are a narcissist. So that's my little spat for this video. So that is my true shit love for today. Goodbye, everybody. Take care.